Urko, are you going to walk with your friends um, out here in the outside the walls and looking at up and down the the hills? Uh, yes, uh, okay. but my question is: Did we know beforehand if we were going to are we going to talk to the insect people? Because in if that if that's the case, I would have liked to brought some gifts. Uh -huh. I don't. I, I don't think we are close. No, it would be a bit of a. Of, so, of a problem. if you were to encounter any of the insects people now, they would be a war band, and mm. they would not be particularly interested. You don't. Well, it's hard to say, but the last war bands that you met were not interested in that kind of interaction. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Um, so anyway, it's. It, I don't think anyone said anything about actually going to meet them, just raising the possibility in terms of our goals. Okay. Yeah, my my yeah. my um, line of thinking was if we run into them, right, uh, and I want to make it clear that my intention is to make contact with them, right, uh, and I don't really know how that would go. Uh, if that's like just meeting a warband, <laughs> trying to talk with them, or to talk with the villages, right. if they know if there's a camp somewhere, well, or yes. they have some contacts. Okay, Jala will will investigate along those lines while you're gone. Yes, um, Zort, I think you are our <coughs> leader now. Yes. <clears throat> so as we're walking uh, around the perimeters and checking out the area, I'm gonna bring up. The subject of, so how do we imagine actually getting rid of these giants? Well, how much uh, do we know about them? Someone has been doing a lot of reading, and someone else has been uh, got a very, very good look, did a good job analyzing the chemicals from that he managed to rescue from the tower. So you have some resources here. Well, um, I do know that uh, there is might, it might work to blow it with explosions if we can uh, get the right materials. And uh, another thing that me and uh, Jella um, came around uh, reading during uh, our healing uh, is that it uh, operates on uh, human minds. Uh, well, it seems like it does, uh, but we're not really sure. But it's like seems a like spirit it. Spirit or. Well, those children, or yeah, the, the minds of the children uh, that it seems to operate uh, on them. So, um, what do we knew, knew, uh, know where on the body uh, the children what? probably are? I mean, if you were using explosives, we probably would want to spare them. Now, I, I feel. Uh, I would think they are a lost cause. Um, I I can't see us saving any any minds. You know the. Um, Could it be a weak point then? If I, I can't see with the little bomb that I made, uh, blowing a hole. Right through it. Right, you're you're looking for the to... you're looking for the right spot. Yes, uh, exactly. I want to. Uh, do you know a weak spot, weak point? Maybe where the children are. If we maybe hit there, uh, it will cease to be. That's a very good question, and the uh, the answer from the notes is not exactly clear. One of the frustrating thing about the notes that um, Urko has been reading is that they were not instructions for someone else. They were notes to the person who was writing them. 
So that means that they don't explain things that they already know. So there may be critical details or concepts or, for example, there is no diagram of the giant. There is no schematic diagram that if you were teaching somebody how to do it, you would obviously include so, something like that. But this person was not teaching anybody. They were just keeping notes. So that means that it's hard to address unless the person wrote specifically about gee what if i want to destroy this someday i would have to hit it here unless they actually wrote that then you really have to use critical thinking to try to figure out anything like that um which is my long way of saying is that it's not obvious from the right that yeah that tower when it collapsed it seemed to have some it knew you were there and it tried to get rid of you mm -hmm. so you even that tower had some kind of conscious mm -hmm. and i'm really worried about that so maybe if we would my wipe out the people um, powering it it probably could survive on its own. Maybe. Is that what you're saying? At least it will still be trouble mm -hmm. in some way. I don't think that's the way we get rid of it. I mean, it was your gnome that... got the tower to stop acting, right? Mm -hmm. Erko? Well, the gnome, uh, yes, it, it effectively so... canceled the thing's uh, properties. Yeah. Um, so, uh, anyway, I am not, I, I, I have to say that Erko is not going to be able to give a direct answer, but it is a good thing to have as an idea as you continue to investigate. So, so the answer oh. to that question may come in the long, you know, in a, in a, mm -hmm. uh, in time with further thought. So we're planning to try and blow it up at some point, at some specific point on it. Is that well, correct? Not real. Well, there are other options. Um, like I said, that it's. Uh, operating on mines it seems so if we well we could move the village <laughs> but that's a lot of work and we need to stay because of Jala uh, she needs uh, well we need uh, her, this uh, shrine or, and our rituals and the, the other alternative is to keep feeding the giant now when it comes and uh, we wait one year until uh, Jala becomes a priest. So, because she will be much more powerful at that time. And uh, we will have a lot more time to study. And we might find some more knowledge uh, in the ruins of the tower that collapsed. And uh, we will have much more time to just. Well, get knowledge and prepare. I'd rather not wait because not only Yala is going to get stronger, the giant is. That much we know. Uh, when we're out here, do we see anything of the giant? Well, now it will be time for Skava's roles to investigate. Can I use track? Yes, because I'm watching. Exactly. I'm looking for tracks. Yes, I'm not scanning. That is exactly what I would suggest. Ten. Oh, wow. you mean eighty? <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Okay. Well, in that case, I have to say that we are all deeply disappointed that Scava expertly is able to. Uh, to identify 
uh, the and and it is true what you had in suggested. It does come the same way. Now, if it came more often, you can tell the damage would be so extensive that it would be so obvious you wouldn't even need track. But since it's not that often, it is not constant travel, um, the damage is, is able to regrow and is not in exactly the same spot every year. Uh, so it takes a little bit of expert examination to recognize that this is in fact a track. So Skava, I have a an idea. I uh, think we may have the same one. Tell okay. me. Yes. Um I think some of the village people see you uh, as a leader. And I know well, I'm the threat, so yes. And I know there's uh, a lot of uh, skilled trackers in the village. Uh maybe we could uh set up some kind of system of uh, early warning system someone uh, has been appointed by you to be in this area and warn the village when it approaches um i would think you want to ask him about that okay i had another idea I was thinking maybe it could help you people who are studying this thing. If you would like some drawings of it. From multiple angles. I was thinking that maybe me and perhaps Skava head out and try and find a giant. Track it. Watch it and... Try and get some good drawings on it. Mm -hmm. Could be helpful uh, if I would know the materials it was made of. Stone. Uh, I think he minds uh, which kind of stone, right. and I'm not sure I want to get that close. Well, perhaps it leaves something behind as it drops against the mountains and such. I don't know. That's an interesting point, yeah. And you can see the color yes. of the stone. Yeah. Uh, it varies a lot between different kinds of stone. Okay. Then I'll... Um, if it uh, usually goes this route, it would be plausible for us to find some kind of materials it was made of. Mm -hmm. Um... Maybe if we would uh, find a track and find stones in that track, it would be a high possibility that those stones would belong to the giant. That sounds like a very interesting uh, expedition. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want, do you want to... Yep. It is getting toward the evening now, so if you want to stay out here at night to do this, you can. No or if way. You want to... <laughs> no. I'm excited. Uh, I, I, I want to. I love the fact that all of your characters are very correctly afraid of the dark. <laughs> uh, go ahead if you want to, but right. you will be no, on your own. Right. Um, uh, something uh, else I would like to check tomorrow is whether there is a possibility to trap that thing in mm. some way. Wow. Hunting. Mm -hmm. I want that thing down, I'm going to hunt it. Right. Right way. Yeah. Right. Uh, Source was going to check around, like, just looking at the mountainside, so just looking around and trying to remember the paths we've walked and such up there. How suitable would it be to bring horses? Where are there any? Um, yes, yes, uh, horses are available, and... Um, the all of you are skilled outdoors people and are used to in fact you were originally on horses although we have not seen them particularly in our adventures but um it is all uh quite possible for you to to be riding if you want um i'm doing okay i'm not yeah. great at it yeah. um so uh Yes, you could organize that for the next day if you wanted. 
for some or all of you. Um, and so, uh, good. That's that's a pretty good start. I think we can move to the the uh, the investigation. Um, we don't have to spend. Right. We can actually shift to the next day if everybody is okay with that. 